you were told you will permanently lose your sight, what would you do? KLTV 7's Jamie Boyum met with two East Texans who have accepted the loss and with the help of the Texas Workforce Commission, they are learning now how to move around downtown Longview with the help of white canes. Stand on a street corner and close your eyes. To cross the street safely, you have to use other senses. And if you didn't see the intersection before closing your eyes, how do you know where the other side of the street is? Well, that's exactly what Carrie Hale and Gavin Bradley are now facing. I have diabetic retinopathy, and my right eye is completely detached, and I have no vision in that eye. And then in my left eye, it's mostly detached. My optic nerve has deteriorated in both of my eyes. Yeah, I'm legally blind. As is Carrie, they wear eye masks to block what little light they do see since in the future, light will leave them. They are taking orientation and mobility training offered by the Texas Workforce Commission and it will teach me how to use my white cane. Um, personally, I've decided to go low tech for now. She says in the future, she will learn tech for the visually impaired, but one thing at a time. For me, since I'm younger, I'm used to using technology and I just can't pull my phone now. So they use their canes to get familiar with a street corner. They listen to traffic to figure out their surroundings. On the street that you're crossing, you want your body to be um, perpendicular to that traffic. And parallel to other traffic. It's frustrating, but um, it's good. Rhonda Miller with the Texas Workforce Commission instructs them on how to see with other senses. Rhonda is great, and so we just come out, we do these two-hour lessons, and I'm learning. I'm doing better than I was the first day. And she's teaching us to use the sun uh, to orient ourselves. After about two months of classes... I found the post office. If I needed to mail anything, that would be great. Carrie had to share that with Gavin. You follow this rail, it's going to twist and turn. And they both found the door. I feel like if it weren't for her to help, I, it would have took me a little bit longer. So they are getting closer to becoming familiar with corners like Fredonia and Methvin in downtown Longview, and with it, a better sense of space. <laughs> Jamie Boyum, KLTV 7 News. An incredible program. The Texas Workforce Commission is teaming up with the Lighthouse for the Blind for a U.S. White Cane Day celebration. Officially, the day is October 15th every year, but the celebration in Tyler will be Friday, October 13th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. That takes place at Bergfeld Park in Tyler.